We're Eamon and Beck, and for the past three months, we've been traveling around Europe in our tiny home on wheels. Many people would spend a lot of time organizing for a trip like this, but we've always liked to fly by the seat of our pants. This often results in shocking landscapes and places exceeding our expectations. But with these unexpected highs come inevitable lows. I want to cry, I don't know why. Not a great way to end the hike. Bye, money. Wave, money. It's leaving. No idea where we're going. <laughs> Continuing our drive along through the Pyrenees, we spotted this little piece of paradise with nobody around and we thought, let's stop here, have a great workout and a breakfast, so let's get after it! But because it's midday and probably 35 degrees out, it felt like two hours. Inverter tripping. It's a little bit too big of a smoothie. Do we have spinach? I'm pretty sure we have spinach. I would have checked before. That's more like it. Mm -hmm. We were just having a discussion about how cool it is to live completely off grid like we do. Mm. To be able to pull off on the side of the road, use our solar panel and get free energy from the sun to run our blender and have a delicious smoothie is just kind of mind-boggling isn't it what's going on out here Whew. well we couldn't have chosen a more dirty place to work out <laughs> oh shoot my runner my runner Bud, what are you doing now? I'm cleaning out our gym shorts. <laughs> they get so sweaty and dirty. And as you might have noticed, I wear these shorts seven days a week. <laughs> I know, it's so weird to see you in khaki shorts. I want to live for something we're dying for. Gonna put my treasure on my thin rush to shore. Cause life is a vapor on an ever distant shore. And it's almost over. We are going to Menora. I don't know if we need to stop or what the deal is. She's not even looking at you. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> So Andorra has borders. We're learning so much. I've consulted my trusty source, the Lonely Planet Europe book, which is a heavy duty one. And there is one little blurb on Andorra. This mini country. Oh. Ding, ding, ding. I'm shocked. Mini country wedged between France and Spain offers by far the best ski slopes and resort facilities in all the Pyrenees. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the only way to reach Andorra is by road from Spain or France. Oh, so you can't even fly here. If driving, fill up in Andorra because fuel is substantially cheaper there. A oh, great call. We need to fill up immediately. Should we, should we go test that theory? Yeah. <laughs> okay, filling up fuel in Andorra. How exciting. <laughs>
So Beck was right, gas was much cheaper here, 74 euros. Throughout Europe, we've paid upwards of 130, 140 euros. Hola. No camera? Okay. Andorra, Andorra, I see you at Mata. I see tu fuego. Yeah, guys, you just have to stand there and let him. It'll pass. This too shall pass. We tried to look up again whether this was a country or not, and then we realized that because we're in a new country, which I'm pretty sure it is, we don't have access to our SIM cards from Spain. Discovering a new city or coming to arriving in a new city is very difficult without the World Wide Web. <laughs> is there a place where we can get like a SIM card for internet? For you know, cell like for mobile? Like for internet. Yeah. Uh, is this a country? More or less. Mas or minus? More or less. More or less. Okay. It's not a country, is it? It's a principal, it's like a Monaco. Big shout out to uh, MR Micro Ordinaires for uh, letting us jump on their Wi Fi. Now we have a map to the only cell provider here in Andorra. <laughs> a little bit disappointing news, but it's very expensive to get data here in Andorra. You need to spend at least 30 euros to get a SIM card, and then you can spend that money towards data, and it costs 10 euros per gig. So we're just gonna do one, so we have three gigs. We just found a information center. We've met Eva, who's an absolute legend. And she confirmed that we are in a country. And she's telling us what to do now. She's got so much information. Eva, you want to say hi to the vlog? Adeu. You can say hello. Hello. How are you? <laughs> hello. Come visit Eva at the information. Que tal? I'm Catalan. Que tal? Com va? Com estàs? Passes uns dies a Andorra. From all over the world, yeah? Okay. So Andorra is a country. <laughs> and a really beautiful one. A really beautiful one. So beautiful that we're going to share it with you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. We're in the mountains and it's nice and cold. <laughs> I couldn't be happier. <sighs> I tell you, if Andorra just improved their mobile plans, I might <laughs> consider moving here. Oh. Good night. Good night. As you can see, we have woken up to a gray, cold, and rainy day. So, I mean, that's kind of why we travel with no expectations and plans, because we're going to insert a nice, big, hunky work day at a cafe today instead. It's not very interesting, um, but it's necessary work, so I think we'll just pick you guys up tomorrow, when hopefully the sun is shining and we're doing something fun. Also, I want to give a shout out to you, buddy, because it goes unnoticed, but a big part of what we do has to do with planning, Aww. and you're the chief planning operator. I don't know why I'm emotional. It's true. It's so, there you go. There's your shout out. Thanks, buddy. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, well, great call waiting a day because we've got an absolute stunner. Let's go, Endora. Let's see what you got. This is the name of the hike we're doing today, and it seems like up in the Pyrenees, there's no like real outline of what? Information. Yeah, like it's not clear, like, hey, do this hike, this one's the best one, yada yada. So it's all really natural. We basically just spotted the sun, and that's how we know to start. Yeah, there, there's a market for like a really good. Blogger, Blog. yeah, come in here and really jazz it up. Yeah, totally. All right, shall we? Let's go. Excuse me, sir. Are you meaning to tell me we could have parked right here? <laughs> Do you want to try a little apple? Here, buddy. Here. Pretty good apple, bud. <laughs> <laughs> 
we're like 45 minutes into a steep incline. We <laughs> round this corner. Epic incline. And there's freaking parking lot. That's what happens when you don't do research, but it's okay. It feels really good to get moving, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, you do it for the size, mate. For the what? The size. The size? Yeah. What does that mean? I feel like you did this last time. The size? Exercise. Okay. <laughs> How beautiful. Little baby. Oh my gosh, she's coming right over. Hi. Hi. That's amazing. Buddy, I'm nervous. No, no, you're, she's okay. She's okay. She's a baby. Hi. She's just exploring you. Give her the apple. I'm nervous. <laughs> Do you want that? I'm so nervous. <laughs> I'm so nervous here. There you go. She's oh, you want just some... sniffing you out, dude. Hey, man, I'm Give freaking her a pet. out. Give her a hey, pet man, I'm the freaking. Head. I'm freaking out, please. I'm freaking Just out. I don't away. know why. Please help me. Just walk away. What am I going to do? Amen. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey, can you please come here, Amen? Why do you... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're making me nervous. Why does she like me so much? Because she can sense her energy. She's also plant-based. See you, dude. Props on the nose. <laughs> Here's another benefit to Andorra. They have friendly horses. Eamon is deathly allergic to two things. Apples, if he touches it, and horses. So, uh, <laughs> that was quite the scene for you there, huh? Yeah, it's worth it, right guys? Been hiking for about 20 minutes since we left Michelangelo. And we finally made it to the first lake. This one is called Lake Primer. It's supposedly the most blue of all of the lakes, but I think also the smallest of all the lakes. You can also hear a drone in the air. That means there's other people in town. It's not a very big lake, but it's nice and shallow. Oh wow, there's, there's hike here all the way up there. I wonder if that's where we're going. Welcome to Lake 2, babe. Lake numero dos. Time for a snack? <sighs> Sure. I won't be eating until the camera's off though. Wouldn't want to trigger anyone. <laughs> a lot of comments about my watermelon in the last video. Yeah, we're just gonna sit and watch you eat. For a snack on today's hike, I whipped up a version of our out of stock energy balls from our plant-based cookbook. Just a cheeky plug here, it is a digital book and if you guys are interested in incorporating more veg or delicious things such as or if He's you're tired, dough, dough sorry, I interrupted you. That's okay. I was gonna say, or if you're tired of hearing us plug it, go over to the website and look at the unbelievable reviews yeah. of people that just feel empowered by having the cookbook in their pocket and they, they're confident to be able to whip up a healthy meal. Yes, these these are like. These are a version minus dates. We subbed like dates with maple syrup. Okay, we're gonna snack on these. Enjoy this view, the fruits of our labor, baby. Yeah, not a bad Monday. Cheers. <laughs> In a place near the aisles where the tempest rage I was lost like a ship in the shadows We are lying here very comfortable, not really willing to move until we started discussing lunch. <laughs> and so we're up and we're at them and we're on the hunt for lake number three. got up into this mountainous area, the lakes are all really quite close. So one, two, three, all about five, 10 minute walk from each other. And they are just, they're just stunning, aren't they bud? Amazing little spot. <laughs> it's just like, oh yeah. Not a great way to end the hike. We just broke our camera. Oh no. It's got this big white, thing going through it. That's a crack. Not vloggable? Until we get a new one. <laughs> a lot of people would beat themselves up. You know, about a, probably over a thousand dollar drop. But if you don't use your gear. It still hurts, doesn't yeah, it? It sucks. <laughs> we were just gonna set up a shot of us coming back into the van and our tripod just, like didn't clamp in like we thought it had and Eamon went to set it down and it just fell right off. 
So that's a huge heartbreak. We probably won't check you guys for a little bit um, until we get a new lens. Oh, it looks like so good right now. We're just never shooting the light anymore. Do you guys have uh, the Olympus 12 to 40 uh, micro four thirds? Yeah, we have. And how much is that? 849. Oh. Ah, it's broken. Uh huh. Oh, okay. You call for telephone. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. YouTubers discount? No, we can't. 20%? 10%? I don't know. Nothing, huh? Oh my gosh. Did you see my other purchase? No. I got the capture clip. <laughs> Winning! Bye, money. Wave, buddy. It's leaving. <laughs> okay, camp for the night. Yeah. Been here before. This spot is nice and quiet and cold and cozy. And we've got a few other vans. This lens looks <sighs> amazing. Thank you for purchasing it for us. Hey, you're any time. I love you, babe. You want me to break a lens? I'll break a lens. No Buddy, problem. Let's not start joking about it, but I love you still. Thanks, baby. Shall we just pick them up tomorrow in better spirits? Yeah, I mean, I'm in pretty good spirits. Yeah, you are. You like spending money. <laughs> Alright, we'll check you guys tomorrow. Please don't hit the new lens with the other lens. Most of the time here in Europe, we've been filling up wherever we can, which usually leads us to gas stations. So this is a nice treat. This is constant running mountain water. Not many things are international, but so far from what I've seen, hoses are the only thing that have the same fittings in all the countries we've been, which is nice. She's flowing. She's not a very heavy stream, but she's gone. Beauty. All right, Miss Rebecca, have you got yourself a plan? Well, while we wait for our water to fill up, I was kind of looking again at getting mountain bikes or a 4x4 and it's proving to be very difficult because it's not the weekend and those things operate mostly on weekends. So I was thinking, perhaps we just journey on. Our friends Van Life Vikings actually shared a hot spring coordinates, which sounds epic because it's like two hours into the mountains. Beautiful so drive, hopefully. Yeah, we've already had coffee, we've had breakfast, so vamos, baby. Let's go. No one even thanking us for coming. <laughs> we'll see you later, Endor. Thanks for having us. We just followed these coordinates from Van Life Biking, so thanks for those coordinates. But also, where are we and what are we doing? <laughs> this the way? Just follow your ear. <laughs> you look like you're wearing the proper hiking attire. Yeah. <laughs> we found a beautiful river. But it's not hot. It's very, very much so cold. This way, you think? I, I know, it's gotta be this way. We probably should have got a treasure map from these guys. Because I have no idea where we're going. I guarantee we're going to get there and it's going to look like a classic hot springs I with know. like 35 people on it. I know. Here we are like in the woods. I um, took a tumble, got a freaking rash on my butt, walked through some what I think is stinging nettle. And um, I mean, what you have to do is chalk it all up to adventure, baby. So, well, what an adventure! To say that now, two minutes ago. <laughs> I want to cry. I don't know why. I was having a breakdown, wasn't I? I was just gonna enter the clip where you said, "I feel like crying." You have that clip. Of course. <laughs> and here, I thought that was a bonfire. 
Steam, baby, steam. Probably where all the piss ends up, huh? In the bottom pool. What a beautiful spot. Isn't it amazing? Really nice There's spot. There's about four pools, they all tear down. It's just lovely. I think it's a very, very local spot. I'm not yeah. even sure there's a name for these hot springs. It yeah. looks like it was very much handmade. And it's just beautiful. So if you know, you know. <laughs> and I don't think we'll leave a geotag on this one. Sorry, guys. Yeah. It looks like we found security. Hiya. I think we'll be fine to sleep here tonight, yeah? Definitely. Oh, it's always nice coming to a clean house. Home sweet beautiful home. Okay, chef Becca in the kitchen tonight? Uh-oh. Come on in. <laughs> well, Becca outdid herself today in the kitchen. <laughs> you guys, it's only 8 o'clock, and I think it's because of how tranquilo those beautiful hot springs made me feel but I'm just too tired to even think about cooking and I didn't excuse me you keep covering my face with your big old jug it's so good I just didn't even feel like cooking and neither did you and this is what we felt like so we're having a <clears throat> vanilla smoothie and then we're gonna go to bed it's so cold we hope you guys enjoyed our random trip to Andorra and this week's episode we will see you next Sunday bye see you Sunday Babe, I'm gonna go to the hotel and see if they have any cameras over here. <laughs> <laughs>